And Richard, Richard Southern joins us again now. Richard, Donald Trump has talked openly about putting Americans back on the moon, but that's not the only mission NASA is working on. Yeah, this was very interesting. Uh, Melissa, NASA today said they have picked four proposals for far-flung missions that would investigate Venus, Jupiter's moon Io, and Neptune's moon Trident. Two of the proposals involve exploring Venus. One would focus on its atmosphere and the other would map the planet's surface. We don't know very much about Venus. Um, we do know it's very inhospitable. Uh, there, it has a, a, an atmosphere 90 times thicker than Earth and a surface temperature that hits 860 degrees. Way back when, though, it's believed to look a lot like our planet, uh, Earth. So they're e interesting to, uh, to get a look at that, NASA. Uh, Jupiter's moon Io, another target for a mission. Uh, it's very volcanically active. And Neptune's moon Trident, only visited once by Voyager 2 in 1989. Don't you think this stuff is exciting, Melissa, mm -hmm. when we get more information on all those things? No, very interesting stuff. And, of course, learning more about the planet. Why not? You Google uh, uh, Venus surface pictures. The Russians managed to land... Uh, a few landers there in the 80s, and there's a few wild pictures of, of what it looks like. It's very fascinating. Very interesting. And a pair of teens are under fire for a recent prank at New York's subway system. Tell me what you think of this one. So they film themselves. There's this prank uh, on the New York City subway. As you say, the two teens dressed in full body hazmat suits. They pretended to be holding a vat of the coronavirus. Oh, no. And, of course, you know what happens. They're, you know, they're making conversation. People are not happy with what they're looking at. They're saying, hey, you know, what's going on here? They're opening it up. Oh, no. Can you imagine if this was on the TTC? <laughs> Next thing you know, what happens? It spills all over the place. The coronavirus is running <laughs> down the subway car. And people were panicking, and they were saying, listen, it's a prank. It's a prank. Don't worry about it. <sighs> the um, Manhattan Transit Authority, as you may suspect, weren't laughing. They said that's a very serious matter. The police are looking into it. Certainly it's too soon to be joking about the coronavirus, Melissa. No. A little too soon, a little no. inappropriate at this time. Um, I don't know, not very funny, but terrifying, I'm sure, for those on board. Points for creativity, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't guess know, maybe. so. <laughs> maybe try again in like 10 years or something exactly. when yes. we're over this stuff. Yes. And also, many couples will be going out for a nice dinner tonight to celebrate Valentine's Day, of course. But there's also a place for jilted singles to eat, it appears, <laughs> Richard. Do you have a beef with your ex? If so... You can have a free burger coming your way. Burger King offering a free Whopper. However, you got to come in with a picture of your ex, Melissa. Oh, no. They'll trade it <laughs> for a burger. Uh, sadly, not available in Toronto, uh, just in a few New York cities. But it really underscores how some uh, retailers and food companies are getting into sort of the, you know, the other side of Valentine's Day. Not everyone, of course, having a, a great time on the supposedly most romantic night of the year. Melissa. <laughs> That's if you haven't burned a photo of your ex, like I'm sure some people might have done, or right? cut it up. You have to tape it back together again. <laughs> yeah, just look at that burger, right? Anything for a Whopper. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Richard. Have a great weekend. See you Monday.